guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, so we can go ahead and talk um, about this right here. We have this campaign going on um, on Global Dokkan. Um, we got a bunch to talk about right here. This is sort of a filler celebration, I would say. Um, it Honestly, like I, I, I wonder if people are going to be a, a little bit upset about this celebration, but... I mean, if we compare it directly to last year's celebration, let me just take a quick, let's just take a quick glance at last year's, right? Stone Sail, you have this sort of like fodder banner. We have another one of these this year. Um, Int Vegeta and Tech Ultimate Gohan, both are very good still. Um, let's see. Uh, Halloween Pack, uh, this event, the Pan Gohan, uh, Grandpa Gohan events. Um, Easy Area is there, a bunch of Dokkan events, a bunch of the, the Halloween events quest stuff yeah easy a super 17 uh and that's pretty much it huh so yeah this year's looking better there is a world tournament there as well uh but this year's is definitely looking a lot better right because like there is actually an lr banner here's what this banner looked like last year i mean i feel like this banner was was solid like there's solid units i mean a lot of these guys have aged honestly the only one i really even use nowadays is probably cooler I mean, Blue Cow can Goku can give you some value in Super Battle Road. Uh, Bardock will give you a little value in long events. Future Gohan could be good in spot places as well as 13. I guess kind of name it Goku as well, but uh, none of these guys are really mainstays besides Cooler, I would say. Um, the banner is probably going to resemble this a little bit, but we already know it's going to be a lot better, actually, I guess, be <coughs> because these two are gods. And I feel like they're both going to age well. Like, I feel like a year from now... I'm still going to be saying you're good, and I'm still going to be saying he's good, right? Like, these are, like, great, great units. Um, obviously, you want to avoid this. Um, now, I I'm seeing a lot of discussion with people saying, like, oh, looks like Gogeta is not next. No, this would not have been what I seriously is talking about. I seriously was talking about the next, like, major celebration, not this little, like, in-between Halloween celebration. I'm telling y'all, this is not what I seriously was referring to. Because this is still sort of tied in with the Kid Gohan celebration. Because we have LR Goku and Piccolo here. As well as the update to the Garlic Jr. story event, right? This is not... I'm telling y'all. Um, uh, Tech Gogeta is probably still coming... I, I mean, dude, probably around like the 5th or so uh, of, of November. I'm telling y'all right now. I personally expect LR Tech Gogeta around like the 5th or so. Um, or maybe even the 3rd uh, when the banner goes away. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, November should still be very good for Global. Um, the Tanabata celebration is really good. So Global is going to be having pure flames, I think, in November. And then, of course, don't forget, we do have the hero stuff in November as well. Um, all right, so let's go and take a look at a lot of the stuff. By the way, here is the, all the units that are coming to Global. Um, Goku and Piccolo are coming tonight. Uh, LR Int Gohan's EZA. Oh, that's tonight as well. Okay, okay, okay. Um, them, they are coming tonight. LR, God, Goku and Hit and Tech, uh, Hits, EZA, they're coming to JP tonight as well. Um, and then there's the World Tournament on Global, which is like a week away. Okay. Um, this World Tournament is crazy too, by the way. You, a lot of you guys probably know this by now, but they're packing three World Tournaments worth of units into this, right? Like, like these are three separate World Tournaments for JP and they're all slamming them into one. Um, Mighty Mask is like, he's okay. I think these two are really solid supports though. Um, same with Jackie Chun. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, all right. So let's go and take a look at a bunch of the info we have here. This is a bunch of the pictures. It doesn't have everything. Cause like in these pictures, uh, we don't have this, although we see it right there. Um, and then there's also this right here, right? So this right here, new special event from the 25th to the 7th. This would be the Android 17 and Android 8 card and events is what this is right here. So this is coming to both Global and JP. Currently on JP, um, this is not in the news on JP. This uh, like 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 this celebration and stuff like that. Um, we I, I don't know. I think there's probably going to be separate celebration news later on that JP will get maybe after the data download with uh, Android 17 and Android 8. Um, but I think tonight. When uh, God Goku and Hit and then Easy A Tech Hit come out, like they'll just be added to the current celebration that JP's got going on, the Tech Kefla celebration, right? All right, so let's go and take a look here. So 
Uh, yeah, full of surprises, new EZA, special event, 38th World Tournament, new stages added to the Garlic Jr. event, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what do we got next? Uh, yeah, Jirobi, Bulma, Stone Sail, nothing really too crazy. Um, the LR Goku and Piccolo banner. LR Goku and Piccolo are pretty good. I, I do actually like this unit. Um, you do have to keep in mind that they do suck ass at pretty much turn one. They're pretty unimpressive turn one. But uh, typically, by the, you know the next couple of times they come around, I think defensively, offensively, they can look pretty good. Um, I, I think one issue for them is this. I, I, I've talked about this a lot. Them lowering attack on their 18 key is very counterproductive because that's an ability that's good pretty much only in Super Battle Road. Super Battle Road is a place where you're probably going to struggle for key, right? So it's like, it's way better if they're debuffing on their 12 key than their 18 key. Because, you know, I've used this unit in Savior Category Super Battle Road. Um, and guess what? Uh, in Savior Category Super Battle Road, key is going to be an issue for this unit. So, um, this is an easy skip. Like, this is such an easy skip. Leader skill sucks, right? Like, it, it, there's just nothing about this unit. It's like, you look at, like, the current LR that's coming to JP. It's the same type of unit where it's, like, kind of like a... Like like a wonky-ish unit, like a like a weird mix of two characters. Uh, the only difference is that this unit is a god, like a, a top ten, you know, unit in the game or something like that. Um, and they have an amazing leader skill and a, a very interesting category as well. Whereas, uh, you know, their their leader skill sucks. It's not not good, not good, not good. Um. Okay. All right. Let, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Elder Kai banner, there's the Garlic Jr. story event, uh, getting, like, you know, new stages, um, and of course it does get the Awakening for the Krillin and Piccolo card, which is good on the Heavenly Events category team. Um, Baby Saga is getting, oh, actually I should pull this up real fast. Uh, Baby Saga is getting an update, which is including, uh, this support memory right here, the Bra support memory. So, with this one, I believe Global actually already did get this one. So the only one left that Global does not have um, is going to be this one, right? There is also this, but this comes with Super Vegeta Celebration, so we know when that's going to come. So the only support memory Global does not have that's unaccounted for right now is this one. But it seems like they, they've just been adding these to the celebrations for Global. So um, we'll see this one pop up eventually. Very good for GT Goku, right? This is a really good support memory, by the way, just because... That, you know, any, like, events have, like, category drops, this is the go-to one, because that's an 85% buff, whereas uh, this one is only 50%. So, this is, again, definitely the go-to, right? Um, uh, there's a, yeah, a pack with uh, legendary summon tickets. I may do a summon on that. We'll see. Actually, I probably will. Uh, chain battles tonight against Piccolo. Actually, let me pull that up. Um, I don't remember this chain battle. Was this one hard? I can't remember, dude. I can't. <laughs> Chain battle is something I really try and remove from my memory. Was this tough? Let's see. Gohans and Nappas. Okay. I do not... Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't remember this World Tournament at all, dude. I imagine this isn't going to be so bad, though. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have Gohan cards to use here, right? Um, Gohan is not exactly a, a hard character to have. So, you know, you guys might be able to get like 100 million and stuff like that without too much difficulties. Um, the rest of the story events, stuff like that, I don't think there's really too much meaning to it. Or like any of the Dokkan events doesn't really matter. Um, Vegeta Jr.'s EZA, I don't think that really matters at all. Um, all right, so you have the LR Gohan EZA. Oh, no, it comes out in a week. Okay, okay, Int LR Gohan's EZA comes out in a week, not not tonight. Okay, um, he's, he's good. You'll hear people say that he's bad. That's not true. He's good. He's just not as good as, like, like EZA Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I think, is, like, better, right? Like, I don't know, like, EZA Tech Hit, who's coming out tonight on JP, is, like, way better, right? Like, it's, like, Gohan becomes, he's better after his EZA, but they're scared of these LRs. They, they don't want to really make them competitive, it seems like. Um, so, you know, he could have some spot options on your some of your teams. Um, but he's not like a top 10 unit in the game contender or anything like that. Um, and, of course, he is going to have a banner as well. Um, 
We have the World Tournament. Uh, we, went, we already went over all the World Tournament stuff here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, we don't need that. Um, yeah, Gohan, again, he, he's good, but he's, again, he's not like a top unit in the game contender. Um, what's helpful about him, though, is that he's on a lot of teams. And he's on a lot of teams like Miraculous Awakening, Super Saiyan 2, Youth. All out struggle, exploding rage, right? Like, get this guy easy aid, because he could definitely help you in, you know, some Super Battle Road stages, uh, some other places like that. Um, we have this guy coming so early to global. It's unbelievable. This actually, if they're gonna do this, this tells me that potentially maybe they would skip ahead for Dokkan Battlefield as well and bring the LR Shadow Dragon Army early to global. I feel like now that they've done it with World Tournament, I actually could see them. Currently, like, if, if schedules and stuff would line up, this unit would come out in January on Global, right? Um, but we'll see. We will see if that will continue, or maybe they'll come a little bit earlier, right? Um, Tau is actually quite good. Um, and he's, you know, on a lot of bad teams that need the help. Um, I actually currently have Tau on my Link level team. Uh, I'll probably do a 55% uh, level 10 Link showcase for him. Um, cause you know, remember it's going to take three world tournaments before you get him rainbowed. Uh, but he's definitely going to be uh pretty solid. I do wish his leader skill was a bit better. Honestly, I know he's a free LR and blah, 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 blah. But remember world tournament is hell. You do have to subject yourself to going through hell. Um, so I think he could have been four key and won 70% of stats. Honestly, um, Gohan is the reward card. Um, he is a defensive stacking unit. He's very good for long events. Um, and he's going to be on a couple of, uh, like, you know, sort of like lower level teams, like rapid growth, heavenly events, attained evolution, um, him being on these sort of like, again, lower level category teams, uh, makes him have a, a real role. Like, you know, attained evolution is a mission for the legendary Vegeta event. So getting a copy of this guy is definitely, um, in your best interest, I think. Again, allow me to repeat myself. The Legendary Vegeta event, when it comes to Global Dokkan, there's an attained evolution mission, and this Gohan is very helpful for it. Although, I guess, global players, you guys are going to have access to uh, transforming Goku's EZA and transforming Frieza's EZA, which are going to make that worlds easier. Because, like, uh, transforming Frieza and transforming Goku are two of the better units in the game for long events, right? Um, so, you know, you do want to keep that in mind. Um, and that basically is it for the celebration info. Again, this is not like a main celebration or something like that. This is just like a little filler until the start of November, right? Is all this is. Again, I'm expecting Tech Gogeta in about two weeks. Um, I think uh, JP will get their next Dokkan Festival exclusive. Um, JP's will probably be a bit earlier, like the 30th or the 31st is when I'm expecting JP to get their Dokkan Fest. And then Tech Gogeta will be a couple of days after that, right? So let me know what you guys think of the global celebration. Um, is it the best? No. But I mean, this I feel like this, this celebration is always something that pisses people off. I think the end of the year is going to be very good for global Dokkan, though. Um, between, like, the Tanabata celebration, which is coming, Heroes, whatever is in December, right? Remember, there's going to be... Uh, uh, the uh, Christmas banner is probably going to be on Global and JP at the same time again this year. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.